Hey guys, what is going on? I have a Pokemon Showdown match that I want everybody to, to watch. I actually have a few Pokemon Showdown matches that I would like to upload in the future, but let's just do this one for now. Um, it was just the battle that I had with uh, my boy Mr. J. Harkless. It's actually a rematch. I'll probably link a, a previous battle um, because it was actually pretty good, but um, let's just get this one started, alright? So, I lead off with my Chandler because I know he's going to lead off with Smeargle, and it and I usually do this to get the Smirkle down to... I know that he has a Sash, and it was probably a bad idea to do that, because I knew he put my Chandler to sleep, and it was just a bad thing. So I decided to go into my Charizard just to Mega Evolve and take it out with a Flamethrower. But that was, like, kind of too easy to predict. I didn't expect him to... Pre I didn't expect him to switch uh, there with his Smirkle being almost dead, so... I just decided to switch back into Chandler, and uh, he actually wars me uh, out into Gliscor, which I actually was okay with, so I decided to stay in, and uh, I actually went for the Protect to see what he wanted to do. He ends up switching out, probably thinking I would use Earthquake, um, but he Mega Evolves into Charizard, into Mega Charizard Y, and he misses the Fire Blast, but I miss the Toxic, which was like ultra retarded, um, but I go for the Protect, and... Um, Thinking I can take a Fire Blast, uh, I go for a Toxic, but he switches out into Conkelder, and I'm like, this thing probably has guts, he just predicted me again. I was getting predicted really, really easily this match, and I think I get predicted really well a couple more times. So he goes for the Ice Punch, uh, I had to protect up, so I decided to switch out because I'm in a bad situation, and then, so I switch out into Chandler, hoping, like, maybe it'll wake up, but, you know, I probably should have just, uh not let off with him probably should have just left off with um Glasscore so he wouldn't be able to status me and i could just protect get the toxic he wouldn't be able to spore me but anyway i go into venusaur because for some reason i thought the sun was up so i switch right back out into charizard to get the sun up and i get raped by the stealth rocks but i just roost it off uh he um probably thought i was gonna go for flamethrower that's why he went back into heatran but i actually went for the roost um he wars me out into venusaur and i was like well this is perfect because i have an earthquake i have earthquake on my venusaur so if i go i go for the earthquake does a pretty good amount of damage a really good amount of damage actually but i realized that i actually should have just went for the sleep powder because he takes me out with a lava plume and in the sun it's probably gonna it's gonna take me out so i go into gudra because i know it can take out any it could take any special attack but he actually goes for the will o whips which makes it so that this earthquake does not kill it so as you can see i'm getting destroyed right now and here's another part where i just got predicted like way easily yeah so i go for the thunderbolt you know because it's gonna take out the heatran but of course he's gonna switch out once he sees that so he goes into his gus code which is immune so i don't know why i went for the thunderbolt again that's like the third or fourth time i've been easily predicted in this match it's been a while for me but there's still no excuse why uh, I should <laughs> be going for obvious moves such as that. I could have went for the Draco Meteor and then probably could have taken it out with a Flamethrower or something. Or maybe, pro most likely, another Draco Meteor. And instead, I kill nothing and my Gudra dies to burn damage. So I'm already down three Pokemon and he still has a full team of six. Uh, but just keep an eye on his health. <laughs> so anyway, I go for the obvious King Shield again and he goes for a sub, which was like the fifth time again easily predicted there of course someone's gonna go for the king shield uh when someone <laughs> comes out with an aegis slash so um that's just way too easy i go for the swords dance and uh probably didn't have to but i just wanted to stay in my shield form to see what he would do and i just died to an earthquake once i switch into blade form and i'm in bad shape <laughs> so now i go into my gliss core and he switches out uh, I had a Ice Fang. I went for an Ice Fang. So it takes out his Smeargle, finally, that thing with 1 HP. Um, so anyway, he goes into his Charizard, and I'm like, I really need to Toxic this Charizard. So let me... Uh, I went for the Protect here, and then I went for the, um, the Toxic, hoping it would hit this time, and it does, and that proved to be crucial. And then this time... Uh, I go for Protect, and I actually try to go for it twice to see if I can get enough health to, to see if uh, if I can live an attack, which I knew I probably would have been, I wouldn't have been able to, but I was like, hey, maybe he'll run out of Fire Blast, but, um, you know, I only did it twice in a row, I 
went for I probably went for an ice fang I guess I don't remember but the fire blast is gonna take me out so as you can see here I'm down only to my mega Charizard at this point and I get killed uh, absolutely wrecked by the rocks again but the air slash doesn't take me out he didn't go for the flamethrower because I guess he uh, even with my resistance it probably wouldn't have taken me out but I'm thinking it maybe would have um, I mean the fire blast. I think I said flamethrower. Maybe it would have because fire blast is so strong and it was in the sun. So if you would have went for that and probably hit me, I would have probably lost right there. So his to his Charizard dies to toxic damage. Lava plume doesn't do that much. Um, and so I go for a roost, knowing I can live anything from this heat train. Uh, if it doesn't have a rock move, I should be fine. Go for the air slash again take out the heat train so this is why I said to keep an eye on his health because since he switched he predicted so much on me a lot of his uh, Pokemon actually almost all of his Pokemon except for his fortress are at relatively low health in which Charizard was easily able to take him out with a flamethrower um, regardless whether there was sun or up so right when I took out this Conkeldo I knew that I was gonna win because there's no way that this fortress was able to uh, was going to be able to take out this uh, Charizard um, unless he pulled out something really obscure. <laughs> but he goes for the Volt Switch. Thank God for no critical hit. Um, just take it out with a Flamethrower again. And it was just a comeback that I didn't expect would happen. I thought I was going to get wrecked. He has been playing a lot of Wi-Fi battles lately uh, on Pokemon Showdown. That's probably why he was in such good like battling form. And I haven't played in a while. So that's why I probably played so poorly. But... Um, Still no excuses for all the mistakes I made, but Charizard, which is my favorite Pokemon, ends up pulling out the win for me, and uh, I'm actually glad for that because <laughs> uh, I don't know if I wouldn't ever to would have been ever ever to live down would have ever been able to live down a five nothing loss <laughs> to this guy because uh, he's actually a really good friend of mine. So anyway, good match. Uh, we'll probably battle again. I'll probably make a new team, and he's probably gonna use a different team and. He'll probably beat me next time. <laughs> but, yeah, it was a good match. And I hope you guys enjoy this. Because I'll probably be posting a couple more Pokemon Showdown matches with this team. Because I actually really like this team. So, uh, yeah, expect more of this stuff in the future. So, anyway, hope you guys and hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.